Hello, it is The Cousin and I'm back with another beer tasting video. I get a kick out of brew. Feels like, feels like a while since I've done one of these, I can't lie. Um, I think I've been busy the past two days, so I've missed, yeah, two days where I was supposed to do the this beer that I'm going to do now and then the recap. I've just been busy with like my personal life <laughs> um yeah so and i'm like i would i was tired in the last video i think i'm even more tired now actually not quite but almost it's like half 12 right now on mon uh saturday night although i guess that's now sunday morning ah well anyway the beer we've got today is none other than hobgoblin ruby beer I know I've done one of these with my cousin, I think, at least one of them. I feel like it was Ruby Beer, but I have no idea. The designs look really similar. Like all the Hobgoblin beers have their own theme going for it. Um, as you can see with this one, I think they just have where it says Ruby in a Ruby red color. It just has um, different colors there, like a yellow one, a green one, an orange one, a blue one, I, I, can't, I can't even remember. Um, so it's UK's number one ruby beer, rich and fruity. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Let me let me show you guys that. Uh, don't know if you can see that, but it's got, it's got like a different options of how it will taste and it colors in the ones it is. So it's got rich, hoppy, malty, easy drinking and fruity. And it's got the color. Uh, it says ruby color there and it's got rich and fruity highlighted so i quite like that and it's got the hobgoblin um engraved there uh which wood brewery sounds nice and mystical and then obviously you've got the little goblin there looking like he's about to do some mischievous shit it's uh five percent so it's got a bit of strength to it and yeah overall i like these hobgoblin looking beers they look how a hobgoblin beer and a beer in general should look in my opinion um bottle cap though i feel could be better i'm not 100 percent sure what that is it just looks like an n and i don't really see why it n would be on here um where is that z no it's an n um yeah so it says on the back here hobgoblin ruby beer Think legendary. This distinct ruby beer, sweet caramel and fruity aromas tease the taste buds. Brewed with smooth and rich, smooth and rich chocolate and crystal malts. Crystal malts. Sounds like crystal meth. The rest of it sounds nice so far though. And a blend of fuggles, 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 no fuggles and Styrian. I saw that as Syrian. Golden hops. Expect a delicious full body toffee flavour and a fruity finish of figs, raisins and dates. Drink legendary. Okay, okay, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. On here it's saying rich and fruity. Not mentioning any kind of sweetness to it whatsoever. Sweetness isn't one of the things on here. But then here it's, it's, it's saying it's got sweet caramel, it's saying the fruit, um, chocolate, crystal malts, whatever fuggles are. And then, and then it says expected to taste like toffee. So, and figs and raisins and dates, it's just frying all kinds of flavors in there. I want to try this. <laughs> um, but before we get onto the taste, the design. Four. Let's just give it a four. I don't know, that, that, that deserves a four. I think because all the goblin ones look, or hobgoblin ones look the same. I think that's the only thing I don't like about them. Like they're not really, once you've seen one Hobgoblin, you've pretty much seen them all um, in terms of design. So if you like to collect beers for their design, I'm not really sure if the Hobgoblins have much versatility, but as a standalone design, it is a very good design. Um, it's got a very consistent color scheme running through it with the gray, blue, and then it's got the red highlights to signify which one it is compared to the other ones and this being a ruby one obviously it's going to be ruby red um so yeah it's design there's no doubt that's a four i really like this sort of design on a beer um only thing i'm not 
really a fan of is the bottle cap, really. Like, I just don't understand what and why that is. And a blue, it's blue and it's got an N on it. Like, I'd much rather even just a red star where it says uh, which would which would brewery. Um, I think that would have worked out better. Let me crank this open so I can drink it and watch Batman animated series, which throughout this series of beer tasting, that's pretty much what I've been watching. Fucking love Batman. And it's a six series. I think I'm on like episode eight. So. Okay, that's gone all the way over there and that ball cap's not really worth showing up, so I'm just gonna leave it. But the trick is, and it doesn't dent. Man, I haven't had alcohol in... Actually, it's only been two days. Am I becoming an alcoholic? Ah, the goblin. It does have a fruity, fruity taste. That's, um, that's quite nice, actually. But you can definitely tell it's strong alcohol. I've got that to it as well. Let's, let, let's try this. Oh. Wow. 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 My wow's on, oh my God, this is the best beer. This isn't the Bombardier, which currently is the best beer I've had in taste-wise on this channel. It's a fucking taste, that's for sure. That, that was a lot of taste just rushed into my mouth. Um, I feel like I'm a bit tired, so I'm a bit, mm. but that's, Kind of alerted me and phased me out at the same time. So let's let's have another taste. I could not put my finger. I know it's got all these um, tastes on the back of the bottle, but I could not put my finger on what that actually tastes like. That is just a crazy range of tastes just come into your mouth and then just disappear. Doesn't really have much of an aftertaste. Which is surprising. I thought it have a really strong aftertaste, but that that is that's nice. I think <laughs> there's so much flavour. It's hard to say. Um, rich and fruity. That pretty much sums it up. It is rich and I, I suppose fruity, but then apparently it's got all this other taste in it, which I'm not sure if I can taste. Um, sometimes you read this and then you kind of because you're expecting it to taste like that, you subconsciously taste it, even if the taste isn't actually there. Um, but no, that is a that is a very nice tasting beer. Um, I don't know what it reminds me of exactly, but I could drink that again. Um, I feel like if you drank this on a night out or a party, you'd get absolutely fucked up um, if you drank too many of these. Although it is only 5%, but it's kind of got that kick to it. Um, I feel like this is the kind of beer people who do beer tasting should be trying this kind of beer. It's unique, it's crazy, it's full of flavour, really kicks the, the taste buds. It's taste, I think, is a straight up, um, is five scoring it too high? See... I think that actually qualifies as a five, you know. I think that's just scraped a five. Uh, I'm trying to com compare it to other tastes I've had. It's definitely better than, this taste is a bit better than Trooper from what I remember. And that got a four, maybe a 4.5. No, it got a four on taste, a five on design, a 4.5 overall. Um, I would say this is on that kind of level. If I had to compare it to something, I'm probably going to go with the Trooper, which was the second beer I did. Um, except in reverse order, that one's design was five and taste was four. This one's taste is a five and the design is a four. But that is a crazy taste. I, I definitely recommend this one. So my overall rating for this crazy beer is gonna be a um, four point five. That is a <laughs> that is a crazy one. Um, definitely pick up a hobgoblin if you're into beer tasting and you want a, a crazy beer that's just gonna kick you in the back of the throat with a wide range of flavors hobgoblin ruby beer is the one to go to so 
I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and then get back to Batman. Cheers. Quick bar.